Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and welcome. Oh. Wait. So, anyways, let's get started with our first story. All right, first story is seven injured in a racially charged brawl involving 78 inmates in downtown Los Angeles jail. Apparently, someone uh, was probably calling other people names, and uh, you know, one thing led to another. And sadly, racism is a big problem nowadays. Um, I really wish that that wasn't the case, because I mean. You know, everyone is everyone. People are people. The color of their skin should not be a difference, but, you know, tough guys and all that. Sorry, I'm a little shaky right now. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. Went for a walk. I haven't had coffee or breakfast. So, yeah. Alright, so this next one's very, very sad. And surprising as well. Let's see. 113 dead kittens found in apartment of suspected hoarder. Really? These poor kittens. It's unbelievable. Where is this place? Why doesn't it say where this place is? What? Wait, wait, wait. What? Uh, why, what? What? No arrests were made or citations issued. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, that one makes me mad, so I'm forgetting that one. All right, last one here. Dare Daredevil Felix Bumgardner survives 17-mile plunge. And he's going to go to the edge of space to do the, to do his next one. He apparently jumped from uh, 96,640 feet. And I'm not riding in mirrors because this is America. from his custom balloon and this is the last test he needed to do before he did his 23 mile free fall from the edge of space this guy's freaking insane that's all, that's all I have to say about him he's insane ladies and gentlemen and whatever else is out there I don't know you, yeah whatever all right so you understand all right here we go remember this is Thursday episode so we have different things so here we go. So today's word we have a uh, uh, clamily, which is the uh, covered with uh, like a cold, sticky moisture. You know, like you feel clammy, that sort of thing. Um, a cold and damp, clammy hand sort of thing. And uh, that's the first definition. The second one is like sickly or morbid. Like you have apparently have like a feeling about it, which I don't understand. But uh, you know, I guess it can't be too terrible, I guess. I really hope my mic was on there. It's really windy, so uh, I'm sorry if this quality is bad. Um, I guess I should have checked some of it, but uh, I can't do too much about it. I might redo it in a different place, so yeah. So sorry if this is, turns out bad, but uh, all right, let's continue on. All right, with, uh, like I said, that's the right one. The one second. Okay, yeah, all right, got this right. Okay, next is the uh, the art. The uh, piece of art I have chosen today is um, of the Mona Lisa. Yeah, so there's the Mona Lisa. Um, I chose this one because it's with my other favorite artist, Leonardo da Vinci. Good man, and uh, very interesting. He's been he's been kind of famous lately, mostly because of like the uh, uh, Assassin's Creed video games, because he's apparently one of the guys that can help you out in there, which is pretty kick-ass, if you ask me. But that's that. Um, I love the Mona Lisa. It's a great painting. Uh, it's able to. It's brought controversy because of its th it, what it, it what's gone on with it, and uh, there's some thoughts that uh, well, some people say that Leonardo da Vinci actually carried around this painting even when it was done um, for a long time in a little uh, painter's case sort of thing. So he did he carried that there for a very very long time before actually giving it up. So. That's a very interesting thing. I, it kind of makes you wonder what's behind that painting that actually makes something that. I mean, 
behind the painting, metaphorically, not physically. Because there's not much else to do. Look at this beautiful view. Oh god, it's it's beautiful. It's like amazing. I love it. And this is actually one of our clearer days. I'm sorry people in Wisconsin, but uh, we've been getting a little more rain than you have. By a little, I mean a lot. And by a lot, I mean a whole shit ton. And it's been kind of sad because it's been kind of just raining and coming off, coming on, you know, that sort of thing. All right. All right, so next thing, we have the uh, video game picture of the week. So uh, this is, these are ties. As you see, they are ties of, uh, in order, Tetris, Pong, Space Invader, and Asteroid. Now, I've played all three of these games. I think I like Space Invader the most, but I love them all. They're pretty cool. The one that annoys me the most is Asteroid. Definitely Asteroid. I hate having to turn angles like that and then shoot boulders in space called Asteroids. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. I, I never liked that concept, but then I look at all of today's shooters and just like, oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So that's that. Anyways, here we are. And then the last thing, which I think everyone is waiting for, is the cute picture of the week. And here it is. Uh, hedgehogs. Aren't they always so cute? Except it's, unless it's Sonic, because he will run your ass over. I'm sorry to say, but he will do that. And Tails. I like Tails. Tails is pretty kick-ass. Somebody put a picture of Tails in there. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's still here in Florida. I'm gonna be leaving here uh, Saturday. Saturday's the day I get up and leave this place. I go to, um, I'm gonna get on the plane and uh, head out. Uh, I'll be back in Wisconsin uh, Saturday evening or, and my next episode Monday would be in, um, on Monday. Well, scheduled episode, I guess I should say, would be Monday. Um, so, yeah, that should be fun. Alright, so, um, may the force be with you. Live long. Hi, you know, it's, that, it's, the, it's one of these days. It's a Thursday. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. It's almost Friday. Uh, let's try that again. Here, it's. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Peace out. I love you all. Good morning, good afternoon, and if I don't see you, good night.